Number 39. If your body has a density of 995 kilogram per cubic meter, what fraction of you will be submerged when floating gently in letter A, fresh water? All right. Um, so in terms of where I'm going to use a, a formula that I derived in question number 36, please do check out that video. That video I believe gives a lot of detail into A, where this formula comes from, and uh, B, it also gives a good analysis of Archimedes' principle, buoyant force, or whatever. So please do check out that video. It, um, I believe it does a very, uh, well, I don't want to toot my own horn here, but uh, I think it does a decent job of uh, trying to convey the important principles and where these formulas come about. Um, yeah, so let's move forward. All right, so we have this formula that the fraction of an object submerged uh, will be equal to the density of the object that's floating. One second. Divided then by the density of the liquid, okay, or the fluid in which the object is floating. So our job is to find, as it told us in the first part, right, your body has a density of this and what fraction will of you will be submerged. So it's essentially telling you that, or saying that we have, um, we're, being, oops, we're being asked to calculate the fraction submerged and we need to know the two densities, right? The density of the object, which is you, and the density of the fluid, which is fresh water for letter A, right? So the fraction submerged is simply equal to the density of your body divided by the density of then the fresh water, okay? So solving for this, I mean, it's, it's, really, it's really simple, right? It's just 995 kilogram per cubic meter divided then by the density of fresh water in kilogram per cubic meter, which is simply 1,000. So we realize that the fraction submerged is essentially in terms of a decimal, right? Because that's technically fraction, um, is, nine, is 0.995, all right? If you need to have that in terms of a percentage, simply just take this answer, multiply it by 100, obviously you know, and essentially it's 99.5% of your body will be submerged. So that's for letter A. Letter B now, it just says, how about if you're in salt water? Well, we can use the same equation here, okay? So I'm not gonna derive it again. Uh, we have the fraction submerged is equal to the density of now your body divided by the density of salt water, okay? So the fraction submerged now is gonna be 995 kilogram per cubic meter divided now by 1,027, 1,027 kilogram per cubic meter, okay? Fraction submerged is now gonna be equal to 995 divided by 1,027. Oh, I did 2,027, sorry. 19, uh, not 19, 995 divided by 1,027, and we get a fraction now of 0 0.969. 9969, again, that would be about 96.9%. So that'd be the amount, or the fraction, I should say, of your body that's submerged. Guys, I hope this helped. Please remember to check out number 36, all right? And please remember to subscribe. Please remember to hit the like button. Ah, oh, man, there's a lot of things you gotta remember here, all right? Um, plus all the formulas and everything. <laughs> I'm just joking. So uh, we do appreciate it very much. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you soon. Well, I'll talk to you soon. Take care.